Hello friends, you are welcome to Hancon Network where you get updated news of things happening around you. And I want to encourage for as many that are coming to this channel for the first time, if this is your first time of visiting this channel, I would like and encourage you to subscribe so that you get updated news as soon as we publish them. Inside sources in the presidency, who spoke with Sahara reporters said there is a highly likelihood of the president extending his stay on the orders of his doctors. President Muhammad Buhari may not return to the country on Sunday, May 5th, as scheduled due to health complications. Inside sources in the presidency who spoke with the Sahara reporter said there is a highly likelihood of the president extending his stay on the orders of his doctors. President Muhammad Buhari had traveled to the United Kingdom on April 25th for what the presidency described as a private visit. Shortly after his announcement, Buhari's departure sparked a constitutional debate over his refusal to notify the National Assembly of his planned absence and hand over to Vice President Yemi Oshimbaju. In 2016, he had handed over to Vice President Yemi Oshimbaju after notifying the Senate of his 10-day visit to the UK, where he claimed he would be seen and hear nose and throat specialists over a persistent ear infection. By refusing to hand over to the Vice President, Buhari breached Section 141, 1 and 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, which states that whenever the President is proceeding on vacation or his otherwise unable to discharge the function of his office, he shall transmit a written declaration to the President of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives to that effect, and until he transmits to them a written declaration to the contrary, the Vice President shall perform the functions of the President as acting President. In the event that the president is unable or fails to transmit the written declaration mentioned in section 1 of the section within 21 days, the National Assembly shall, by resolution made by a simple majority of the votes of each house of the National Assembly, mandate the vice president to perform the functions of the office of the president as acting president until the president transmits a letter to the President of the Senate and Speaker of the House of Representatives, that he is now available to resume his function as president. In 2017, during his prolonged absence, Nigerian protesters in Lagos, Abuja, and the UK protested after mobilizing using the hashtag resume or resign, demanded that President Muhammad Buhari either resume his job as president or resign after more than 90 days of absence. Demonstrators rallied for three days demanding action by the government, with many claiming Buhari's absence is unacceptable and harmful for the country. The demonstrations led by prominent activists such as Omoyele Shuore, Charles Uputa and Deji Adeyonju forced the president to return home. His most recent trip is also causing widespread anger from Nigerians, who accuse him of insensitivity to the plights of Nigerians, especially in the wake of risking kidnapping and banditry in the country. Contrary to the claims that the president suffers an ear infection, Sahara reporters in 2017 authoritatively confirmed that Buhari is battling a persistent internal organ problem. The sources attributed the president's inability to eat as well as his progressive loss of weight to Crohn disease. A medical condition that has affected his digestive organ, according to the source, Buhari had had parts of his colon removed in 2013 and also had another operation to have hemorrhoids, swollen veins near the human retcom, removed in 2016 in London during one of his secret trips to seek urgent medical treatment. Since his inauguration in 2015, President Buhari has embarked on no less than eight trips to the UK, mostly to cater to his health. On the February 5th, 2016, he embarked on a six-day medical vacation to London. Shortly after, on the June 6, 2016, he took to the skies for a 10-day vacation to deal with persistent ear infection. 
Again, on January 19, 2017, he took off to London again on a medical vacation and February 5, 2017, he wrote to the National Assembly asking lawmakers to extend his London medical leave. He returned on the March 10, 2017, but did not resume work immediately before jetting out two months later on May 7, 2017 for another medical vacation that lasted 104 days. President Buhari returned in and walked from home. August 19, 2017. He again flew out in May 8, 2018 for a follow-up checkup. Hello guys, I'm sure you guys are not too surprised with all these uh, happenings. It's been on and on and on. Just like uh, one of the videos I made before. This idea of going outside the country to t go and take medical vacation. They are the same set of people or is this particular... Is the same person who was saying public officers should stop going to abroad, should stop going outside the country for medical treatment. If you want to go to Nigeria, you buy Nigeria. But what they preach is different from what they do. And more so, if these things that we have read, if these things are really true, that means the deceived Nigerians calling it a private visit. But now it's coming out to be a medical vacation, which people have been talking about, but they've been denying it. We will get you posted as things begin to unfold. We will know the real truth of the whole thing. But we don't need to complain. I don't think Nigerians need to complain this time around because he was voted for knowing all of these flaws, knowing all of these problems. So it's not a new thing. Maybe that's what we are going to live for in the next four years again if Atiku does not get back his mandate. So I don't know what you guys think about this whole thing. I would like you to leave your comment below. And let's rub minds together. Thank you very much.